people like um, um, Sarkodie. Sarkodie too was, he's still doing uh, hip life. Yeah. But he just wants to sound like a, 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 a hip hop artist. But please, you can't face the real hip hop artist. You can show that you have a stand in hip hop, but not to carry the umbrella on your head. There's nobody to resurrect hip life. Hip life is not a trend. Okay. Let's, let's point of correction. Okay. It's a name of our kind of music okay. in Ghana. Okay. If only they will accept it. Uh -huh. That's the point. You need to remain unique for you to be noticed. My very favorite friend too, what's his name? Um, Shatawali. Mm -hmm. I remember I spoke to him a couple of times over this issue. Like, yo, you're doing hip life. Why are you calling it dance hall? But because they were fighting who the dance hall lord was going to be with Stoneboy and all the rest of them, mm -hmm. and it made them forget where they were coming from. Right. And until two, uh, I think I had an issue with him and his group at a point where I, I said even upon that, his music has not gone out of Ghana, it has not crossed a flower, and it was something else. But I didn't mean to disrespect him or insult okay. him. But I wanted him to see that. Yes, I've right. walked into a club here and I saw the video. I've walked into a club, I saw whiskey. Okay. I've walked into, I saw Benna Boy. They come underground, yeah. uninvitedly. Yeah. But because they want to encroach the yeah. whole African continent. Yeah. And that's why they go plan. So I was like, oh, that's what you should have done. He misunderstood it until 2018, when he now went to Nigeria, he saw what I was saying. They didn't know him. They probably have heard that. Even when he was performing, they were not acknowledging his presence. So that was because he was not forcing to invest in the music side. Oh, so, so for now, there's nothing like loud in a cry no more. And I still never have, going to be I still have the right. It's a registered company. Okay. It's a registered company. That was yeah. why we were able to sue them. Okay. It was registered as loud. Mm. So anything loud, it's my right. It's your right. Yeah. So um, I just decided to calm down a little bit. I was actually disappointed at a point. One of my reasons were because I realized that we were chasing hip life. Mm -hmm. And most of the artists left hip life and jumped onto crank. That was where the whole thing okay. started. People like, uh, if I'll be very precise... Uh, 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 Wusu, Wusu, Asem. Uh, Wusu, Asem, and yeah. uh, um, my, my favorite artist, uh, one of Dr. Rap, uh, Ochami Dr. Kwame, yeah. and then and, and so many of them, yeah. many, there were many of them, they moved to Crank, Crank. Mm -hmm. and I, I, I lamented, I spoke about it, I'm like, oh, what's up with you guys, man, we started hip life, I called Reggie, what's going on, your boys are, oh, it's a trend. And we never came well, back. The people say music is dynamic. So when the, when the trend changes, or you have to also, as an artist, jump on there. So maybe that's, that's, that's a more No, reason. I disagree with you, Larry. It's, let's take, for instance, Afrobeats. Right. Today, they have Ama Piano. Right. But you hear Ama Piano inside, inside Afrobeats. Afrobeat. Did you see Afrobeat artists going to no. Ama Piano? That's the point. Mm. They left it and joined Crank. Crank. And they never, never came back. From Crank, they went to Dance Hall. Mm. And God knows where we're going to next, because... That, that's the problem. You know, let me tell you something. The music was more like a newborn baby. Right. The hip life I know of was right. like a newborn baby that needed breastfeeding, breastfeeding. needed some sort of nurture. Right. So, and if you are doing a music or you have a gen of music and you don't have a name for it, then it's not existing. It's void. Right. That's from my own point of view. Right. Any other person can choose to, mm -hmm. you know, define his own. But I find out that if we were all under one umbrella mm. as hip life, and we decide to do dance hall. If you look at Afrobeat, mm. because hip life was giving birth before Afrobeat. Right. Now, if you look at you see people like Timaya, mm. they're all dance hall artists. Mm. Uh, Pato Rankin, they're all dance Even Bernard Boy is a dance hall artist. Right. But you can't see them parading themselves as dance, dance hall artists. Artist. That's the point. Right. There's no how I can portray myself as a hip, hip hop artist when I know I'm an African. Even my accent only self goes spoil the show. And imagine Jay Z coming to Ghana trying to be. Uh, a, a hip, hip life, life artist. Does it make sense to you? No. That's the point. Currently, who's, who, who's doing hip life? Most of them are doing hip life. Um, uh, last meet, last know, meet Camido, they, they're all doing hip life. Cam but it's just that. Camido is doing hip life. Yeah. Sounds like Afro, Afro beat. But, but do, they, do they accept that they're doing hip life? That's the point. Mm. I, I, I hope my boy, to the, our new boy, Blacko, I hope he should just embrace it and call it hip life. Because I was waiting, last time they were asking him, they bought, um, and the doesn't even ask him, what, so what genre of music do you do? Yeah. And I'm sure behind the doors they'll be calling him a dancehall artist. He should reject that name. Because uh, dancehall belongs to uh, Jamaica. Jamaica. There should be some sort of conference. Mm. We should talk about it. Mm. We've just started talking about yeah. it. And we should talk about hip life. Mm. We should all agree that, you know, and, and, and I'm sorry to say, those giving awards, like the Chatterhouse and all the rest of them, right. they should make hip life the best of all, not dance hall. Okay. 
Okay. They should make it like an award at the end of the day, the, the Hip Life Artist of the Year, mm -hmm. so making it with some amount of money. When Samini started, he was also doing Afro, Af, um, um, he was doing Hip Life. Boy, 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 was another uh, giant in that industry. Um, I think Screwface. He was also doing that same thing. Yeah. And um, VIP, of course. We need to bring them because back. how can I grow? When my son is going and I'm not there, mm -hmm. how will he understand where I'm coming from? Where will he understand where he's coming from? Yeah. We need to acknowledge some of these are our past artists. Mm -hmm. You know, right now, I was just telling you that somebody like Tiny, yeah. he has become a prince of God. That's yeah. how I call him. I call him a prince in God because he has stood as a giant on his own. Mm -hmm. But it's high time to bring up other artists, give them that leverage to become something they want to be. Right. To f forward whatever, wherever they have stopped. Right. I don't think they've stopped. But what I'm saying is to continue. Right. Are we lost? We don't lost. Ghana is talented with art. I mean, they are so talented. Over talented, they worry them. Okay. It's just that they are not finding their square roots.